Hey loves, I purchased a 24 hair inch by for every hair on Amazon and today it's time to get rid of some of this length. I'm not used to having hair this long and as some of you may already know, it can get in the way of doing some of the most simplest everyday tasks such as sitting down, using the restroom, closing doors, keeping it away from the dog so that they don't use it as a chew toy and the list goes on. I saw a couple of tutorials demonstrating how to use a flat iron to seal your ends and they all look pretty simple and easy so I wanted to try that method since dipping the hair into boiling hot water didn't work for me. That was one of the issues that people complained about in the reviews that this particular hair didn't seal when dipped in boiling hot water. But the manufacturer did mention using a flat iron to seal the ends instead. So this flat iron I've had for over 10 years going back to my relaxed hair days and I've kept it in pretty good shape since then. It was probably no more than $35 when I purchased it back then, so you don't need a fancy flat iron to do this. It was suggested to keep the hair inside the flat iron for about 10 to 15 seconds, but as you can see, my hair wasn't sealing at all. No smoke, no hardness, nothing. So I tried to use a different flat iron just in case the last one was just giving up on me and I had the same results with the second flat iron. Another method to use for sealing your ends is by burning the hair with a lighter, but I'm actually afraid of fire and when I saw that flame and how close I was to losing my life, I took it as a sign to leave that alone and leave it to the experts. Last but not least is the rubber band method. I was avoiding this method the most because I assumed the rubber bands would make the hairstyle more childlike and I wasn't sure whether I had enough of the black rubber bands in stock to use all over my hair. But I will say this, I was wrong. The rubber band method was actually very easy to do. It allowed some adjustability to the length of the hair and it didn't make the hairstyle childlike at all. Thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comments section which method you prefer the most when sealing the ends of your braided hairstyles. And I'll see you all in the next video. Until next time you guys, bye bye.